Welcome to the Certified Food Manager Renewal Course. This course will help you be more conscientious about food safety in your workplace. This course gives you access to a wealth of food safety resources and lets you personalize your renewal course experience when you go online. Take time to work through the course content carefully, explore the additional resources offered here, and consider how you can apply these food safety concepts at home and work. This course works best when viewed from a laptop or desktop computer. If you're accessing this course from a mobile device, you may have difficulties accessing some of the features. Switch to a laptop or desktop if you encounter difficulties. This course also works best when viewed from the Firefox web browser. If you're using Internet Explorer and encounter difficulties, try downloading and installing the Firefox browser on your computer and use that to access the course. Also be sure that you have pop-ups enabled in your web browser. And be sure that Adobe Flash and a PDF reader are installed on your computer. For additional information about checking your computer settings for the course, Consult the introduction document in the introduction panel of this course and follow the links to download the required software. Also note that the system will log you out if you're inactive for a period of time. If that happens or if you have trouble finding your way back to the main course homepage for any reason, try fully closing your web browser. Then reopen your browser, navigate back to the course address and log back in. On the main page, you will see eight different topics you can access. Choose from the topics of Cleaning and Sanitizing Basic, Cleaning and Sanitizing Advanced, Cooling Principles, Emerging Trends, Emerging Trends 2, Preventing Foodborne Illness, Personal Hygiene, and Ready to Eat Foods. If you're completing your recertification entirely online, you will need to choose four of the eight topics that best fit your establishment and training needs. For each of the four topics you choose, you'll need to work through the learning activities and then take a short quiz to check your knowledge. Each topic should take you about an hour to complete. Once you've successfully completed the quiz for a topic, you'll be able to print out a certificate showing that you've completed the topic and earned one hour of continuing education training. Refer to the introduction document for more information on how to complete your renewal application and submit it to the Minnesota Department of Health. If you want, you're welcome to work through the remaining topics for your own personal benefit. Just remember that you only need to finish four modules to complete your renewal certification. Let's click into one of the topics to learn how to navigate. Each topic will have some combination of basic information, activities, case study, certification, feedback, and resources. The basic section reviews current research, best practices, regulations, and online resources and documents from expert sources on the topic. The activity and case study sections help you apply and reinforce what you've learned in the basic section. Use the Previous and Next buttons to navigate back and forth within the content pages. When you get to the end of a section, you will need to click on the tabs along the top to take you to the next section in the topic. As you navigate through a topic's content pages, do not use your browser's Back button. Stick to the Previous and Next buttons. Depending on your web browser, some of the additional resources within this course will either open up in pop-ups or in new tabs along the top of your screen. Click the Home button anytime to get back to the main course homepage. In order to receive a certificate of completion for each topic, click on Certification Quiz, either from the main course homepage or from within the content pages in the topic. To start the quiz, click Attempt Quiz Now. There you will answer five questions. By answering three of the five questions correctly, you'll be able to print out a certificate for that module. If you don't succeed on your first try, you can take the quiz again. 
If you find yourself on a quiz or other Moodle content page and decide you want to return to the main course homepage at any point to review the content or just to get back home, click on the course title in the breadcrumbs along the top of the page and that will take you back to the main course homepage. Once you have successfully completed a topic quiz, you will unlock your personalized certificate certifying you've completed one hour of continuing education credit. Your certificate will be located directly below the course content for each topic. To access a certificate once it's unlocked, click on the link. Then make sure that pop-ups are enabled in your browser and that you have a PDF reader installed on your computer. Then click on the button labeled Get Your Certificate. Your certificate will display in a pop-up window in PDF format. You can print your certificate right away or you can save it to your computer to print later. If you lose a certificate or need to reprint one, you may log back into the course to reprint or resave each of the certificates you've earned. When you're finished viewing your certificate, click on the course title in the breadcrumbs at the top of the page to return to the course homepage. One final thing. To help us continue to improve our food safety education programs, we ask you to click on the feedback link and complete the feedback survey for each topic you finish. This will only take three to five minutes to complete for each topic. We appreciate your input and will use it to inform future courses and programs that we offer. Now you're ready to start. Again, the goal of this course is to increase your knowledge and awareness to safely handle food and prevent foodborne illness. As you work through the course, make sure you're able to remember food safety precautions you need to take at work, remind yourself to practice these precautions each time you start working with food, Scan your food service areas and identify possible food safety risks. Know whom to go to and discuss your food safety concerns. And have a food safety action plan for responding to food safety risks in your workplace. Enjoy the course and happy learning.